So what to do if you've just been given a bunch of inexpensive flowers or you've bought them yourself from the supermarket for Easter. Usually you get five stems in a bunch and no foliage. So I'm just going to show you uh, what you can do with this inexpensive bunch. And don't forget the first thing you must do is remove all the uh, cellophane, strip the leaves uh, so that they're not going to be under the water, use fresh water and use the packet of flower food and cut a good inch off the end of the stems and preferably leave them for a few hours before you actually arrange them in your vase. So once I've done that, if I was just to put the flowers in a vase like that, this is what happens. They tend to flop all over the place. So the two things that you really should try to do if you can to make them look a, a bit more like a bouquet and a bit more attractive is support them in some way and also add some foliage. So just to show you some of the things that you can use to so two things that you really need to do to make your flowers look more like a bouquet is to support them and pad them out with some of your own foliage or greenery. And you can support them in many different ways. The old fashioned way, if you like, is the pin holders, different sizes. You often find them in charity shops if you haven't inherited any. Um, other types of glass or plastic uh, holders but you can also uh, support using things like this, which is just shells, which have been dyed in this case, or gritty sand. The other way which um, is very common um, is to support them using aluminium wire or chicken wire at the base of your vase. And finally, something that um, a lot of people now do is to actually make a grid on top of your vases with either pop tape, which is green in this case, but you can get clear pop tape, or a grid just using sellotape. And particularly if you've got an odd shaped vase or a big round vase, making a grid to support your flowers and foliage is really important. Finally, a pot a fleur, living, growing plants, in this case a small daffodil, mixed in with flowers which I've just put in eggshells. These lovely helibores are just in eggshells with flower water in, um, Arampictum lilies, and this in a lovely little snowdrop vase, three beautiful snowdrops held together in a ivy leaf which I've pinned just to support those beautiful snowdrops. Then some twigs and sticks and of course if you've got children you can uh, hide real Easter eggs amongst these and in um, egg cups. You can do this on a low basket as I've done it here or on a tray or perhaps a low uh, vase and uh, it does look lovely both inside or outside on your Easter table. So here are my ideas for Easter and whatever you're doing this year, I hope you all have a joyful, happy and blessed Easter.